Hello and welcome to MIP TV and with me as always is Bob Cook for his book review and we've got a bit of a an interesting book here haven't we it's not a a it's not a kind of teaching book or a theory book but it's a book that links to theory and it's Alina Oliphant is completely fine it's by Gail Honeyman it was a Sunday Times bestseller and it won an award in 2017 now I believe you're listening to this on an audio it's an audio book at the moment is it Bob Yes, I think you can actually buy a physical copy, but I reviewed it on my uh, Audible. Audible. So we'll put a link to Audible in the in the in the com- in the comments bar yeah. below. So what drew you to this book? It's it sounds fascinating, Bob. It is. It's a psychological narrative, and it's her first book. She's, uh, you know, you can buy a physical copy of it, by the way, but it is actually a wonderful book to listen to. I've got hooked on audible books recently. Uh, But what I liked about this book was the psychological process of the major character. Now, I've got got to be careful not to give away the, um, how can I say, the twist in the tail at the end of this, Mm. of this review, because the twist in the tail is i guessed it actually but the twist in the tail really uh, is quite remarkable at the end so i'd be careful not to give this away to the viewers um but the thing about this book is it's about a major character who is psychologically disturbed and she's really i think through the through the book growing up really mm-hmm. she meets this uh character who becomes a friend of hers um who looks after her, always in a way parents her and helps her develop adult social skills and helps her through compassion and love to start taking care of herself, to start what I would call growing up. He sort of parents her, if you like. Mm. And this is a major character who thinks she's an adult in transactional analysis language, but actually is in child. In other words, she uh, lives her adult life um, in the past. Oh, okay. Yes, so she's, she's not in the here and now. Not she's really. In not the really. there and then. She's in there and then. How is she thinks that she's in the here and now. But actually, she struggles to cope with social life, social functioning, social cues. And it's not till she meets this friend of hers who, who really takes her under his wing, if you like, and teaches her social skills, how to be in the here and now, how to take care of herself, um, how, to, in fact, in fact, gets uh, a cat, so the first uh, um, uh, creature, if you like, to love, to show care and warmth to. Um, he teaches her how to, um, yeah, to take care of herself, but more importantly, how to live in many ways. Mm. And um, just for example of what I'm talking about, she, um, through his compassion, starts to not only take care of herself, but starts to actually have fantasies about who who loves her and who doesn't love her and um, starts to grow up through the whole book. And what I like about this particularly is um, how she starts to allow herself to be parented by the friend and how gradually starts to live in the adult world and let the childhood past go behind her yes it's interesting isn't it because although this isn't a kind of counseling or psychotherapy textbook there is a there is a hint of the repatriative style isn't there this idea of the good enough other and a person um giving those early caregiving uh, signs that may be missing in this person's early development absolutely this is a person as you learn uh, how much can i say i can say this this is a person who was highly traumatized in early life mm. and because she was so highly traumatized she stays a child in many ways to cope with um adulthood and you're absolutely right so there was a hint of the reparative style. Yes. Like by the person she actually meets. And it's through, his, uh, through this relationship that she actually heals. So you are correct. Mm-hmm. And it is through this relationship she starts to love herself, 
to know she can care about herself, to know somebody that loves her, that she can grow up and eventually is able to um, destroy, if you like, or let go of her internal persecutor, which she's kept alive uh, for all this time. And in a way, this internal persecutor is still re-traumatizing her. Mm. Yes, yes. So I mean, I suppose in 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 terms of in my world, which is the humanistic world, those interjected values and conditions of yeah, worth. Here we go. Yeah. And in your world, of course, the the world of TA, <laughs> the injunctions and drivers, or the injunctions, it's a bit the injunctions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That the internalized uh, other. Yes. Uh, uh, gave her, and I can't, again, I can't tell you in this book, but the by the end of this book she's taken charge of her own life and she's um i can't tell you but she really does uh dis, almost destroy if you like um the, the the person that's been putting her down shall we say yes. uh throughout life and um as many traumatized people do they live in a world of scare yes they see, they see the world as very scary and they're playing out their trauma all the time and they enact, they enact out their trauma. And the only way that the trauma gets dissolved is by the compassion of another person. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, I, I actually know the ending to this book and I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> and because because it, is, it's, it's, it sounds, because you told me, it yeah. sounds such a good, a good listen because it's an audio book or it would be a good read. Um, and also it's, it's a kind of... Um, different pace to one a book that may be heavy in theory or heavy in um he heavy in examples of psychotherapy this is just two people one person who's befriending another and helping the person move away from a traumatic past it sounds absolutely fascinating bob um who would you recommend this for oh anybody who likes a good read and anyone who likes to think psychologically Mm. because the ending of this book particularly um, really is very, very liberating, empowering, and leaves you with a wonderful feeling of um, that the light defeats the darkness. Well, I think, I think on that existential bombshell, Bob, <laughs> it's a great way to end a book review. Yes, We're friend. talking about Eleanor Oliphant. It's completely fine. A book by Gail Honeyman. It's a Sunday Times bestseller, and uh, Bob is reviewing it in Audible. We're going to put a link downstairs in the links bar below. Have you read the book? Have you heard the book? If so, why don't you comment? Why don't you share with others what your view of the book with book is should i say and as always bob thank you very much thank you